guys, we did such a great job right, thinking around our learning targets and how our learning is going to go for today. So the next thing I want us to actually be able to do is remember we started talking about it um, yesterday, what our performance task was going to be for this module, right? So when we get to the end of the module, that big learning that we're going to do, what we're leading it up to. So remember, we had our choose your own adventure animal defense mechanism narrative. Whoa, right? That is such a big title. And so remember when we said that, um, what you would be doing is, after we're redoing, researching for our informational text, we would then be taking a look, right, like at our specific animals and its defense mechanism, so how these animals protect themselves. And then we're gonna create a choose your own adventure narrative about your chosen animal. So first, we're gonna learn about this animal, how they protect themselves. Then we're gonna write a narrative, like our own stories for our animals, right, with their defense mechanisms. So I wanted to tell you how our learning was gonna play out across our three units. So first things up, we have in unit one. In unit one, we're gonna do our deep research, right? We're gonna learn about all these animals and how they defend themselves, right? Those defense mechanisms, how they take care of themselves in the wild. When we get to our unit two, our research continues, right? We're gonna then choose the animal that we want to learn all about, that we're gonna be good deep researchers, right? Because we said researchers ask questions, right? They try to ask questions, they go into different um, texts, or re, um, resources in order to figure out those answers. So you're gonna pick your animals and do all the deep research and you're gonna start writing about it, all right? And so we're gonna start building our expertise on that selected animals by we write an information about your animal and its defense mechanism, mechanisms. And then again, that animal is gonna be the main character of your narrative. Then when we get to unit three, this is when the fun stuff really starts. When we get to unit three, we get to write our narratives. So in that, you're going to get a, to read aloud and examine a choose your own adventure. Because remember, we talked about it. Many of you have never read a choose your own adventure before. So we need to be able to read one to figure out how they are, right? Like how they're structured and the format of them in order for you to write your own narrative about your animals, right? And the animal that you research, and again, you develop that main character animal. All right, y'all? So how does that sound to you? Right, like it sounds pretty good. So when we were talking about like doing that research and getting all that information is going to be super helpful. So when I want you now to really pause and think about this question, and you're gonna turn to your elbow partners, and I want you to think about um, how can we make sure we are studying and collecting um, information about our animals and their defense mechanisms. So think about it, and what are some of the things we can do? And remember, we have something in the room that can help us do that, right? So remember, we have our what researchers do, these things anchor chart, all right? So think about it, and you're gonna think, how can I make sure that I'm collecting the right information about my animal and the defense mechanism. What are some of the things that I can do as a researcher to make sure that I can answer the questions and learn more about it? Think about it and turn and talk to your elbow partner. Mm -hmm. So me and my husband were talking about how any, we could use this book to find details and adjectives to help explain how our animal that we picked looks and how it might feel. What are some of the different ways that writers research their topics? Like, what are the different resources that we can use to help us? Tell me one. I'd like to add on to what Charles said. Like, they can look, if they're researching about a certain topic, they can look on a book about that certain topic. We can absolutely look in a book, right? Anyone else make a connection or add on or have another idea of what we can do? Ooh, it's getting real. A lot of connections happening. Go ahead. Um, you can look at the book and um, you can look at the glossary or index to see which chapter your question is about and then figure out more information on it. 
so we can, right, like we can still using that text, we can use different features within the text to help us like the glossary or the index. What is something else we might be able to use outside of a text? What are some other resources we might need to use? I'm gonna stick to this back table, go ahead. I would say you can use the internet because the internet has like plenty of things you can search up and it gives you a really strong idea of what you're looking for. Okay, so we can use the internet and research. So show me with your, I see a lot of you doing it, right? Like a lot of you are showing me like that connection of, I can sometimes go to the internet, right, to look up the information. So show me with your hands, who's ever just gone to the internet, you wanted, had a question about something, and you wanted an answer for it, and you've gone and searched. Just show me with your quick hands. Who's done it? Me too. It's my favorite place to go to sometimes. Sometimes I have the most random questions. I'm like, where can I go really quickly to get that information? I can go to the internet and find that out. Right? So we are going to then... Hold on. So y'all already started off with such a great way of thinking of like some of the things that researchers do in order to help them find information. We also are going to, because look at this. Look at this long list, right? It's just not one or two things that researchers do. They do all of these things to help us. And this will be in our classroom to help us as we're trying to learn more about our animals and the defense mechanisms, we're gonna be able to definitely use this chart in order to help us. So what I want us to do now, we're gonna take a look at what some of those things are. All right, so let's see with our first one. What is one thing researchers do? Y'all can read it with me. Ask questions about the topic to focus research. What else? like a really big one right we have to make sure that when we are getting our information one that is actual it's true right like it's factual information and we have to give credit to the person that wrote that so as researchers we're gonna do a lot of that work to with one another okay so this chart again while we are learning about our different animals is gonna be a big support to us in our classroom